last last month I, I left you rather early. I had made a doctor's appointment. Just hadn't really consulted with my day timer, so for that I apologize. I think what we'll we'll start with today is the uh, uh, the seed it fund program as the commissioners have have uh, have, uh, I think mine's here. Uh, have approved. So we wanted to share this with you this morning. I think while they're getting passed, I will I will hit a couple of things up. Scott Wagner came to us yesterday. There's a home in southern Whitley County that's in need of a septic system. It was discovered that there's a, a, a law that says the county can front the money for a septic system and then uh, uh, get paid back through taxation, uh, through the, the taxes. Uh, the, the commissioners unanimously voted 3-0. We did not want to get into the money lending business. So, because that, you know, that might be a, a wonderful opportunity there for, for that place, but uh, there's no reason to, to, to think that somebody couldn't say, I want to put a, I want to put a subdivision in and I want you to fund all the, the septic. So, so we just devoted, uh, decided to not get into the lending business. Um, well, they, they couldn't afford their own septic, they probably wouldn't pay their taxes anyway. Yeah. They, we couldn't go there, but you could think that, you know. <laughs> All right, if you have the seated uh, program in front of you, um, I'm sorry I don't have the cover sheet in front of me, but the cover sheet basically that, that Jenny did uh, gives you the laws as, as required. Page two then uh, it talks about the 75% test. Um, and, and it tells you that really we're, we're looking pretty well in, in the, uh, the seated fund. We have no financial problems in, in that area. So with that in mind, we came up with, I believe, nine projects, excuse me, yeah, nine projects. Project number one is a continuation. Uh, this, is, this is how we fund the uh, Whitley County Economic Development Corporation. The, uh, again, when you see estimated total cost, that would be a two-year program, not a not a not a one-year, because you have to do seed it in two-year increments. This is 2012, 2013. So the estimated cost there uh, is 311,622.45. The annual is slightly different because we planned on a, in case it happened, a three percent increase in uh, in 2013. Project number two is, is assisting the GIS project with $40,000 over two years. That's $20,000 per year uh, for the next two years. We do understand that there is a, there may be an, ex, uh, a, an additional need in the area of $7,000 that we may have to deal with later. Project three is, um, a, again, a continued project uh, keeping in mind that uh, uh, <clears throat> economic development is sort of the idea for this program, we continued with the Project 3 uh, from previous years, a total cost of $500,000. That would, uh, to help on-site and off-site improvements, um, it's a, and on an as-needed basis with a, a maximum of $250,000 per year over the next two years. Project four, we, uh, the, the county highways radio system needs to be upgraded. So that program, that 40,000 is a one year program only, that's for 2012, that, that would be $40,000 to upgrade to meet the new FCC requirements. Project five used to be the 300,000 or whatever it was, EMS project. Uh, I know there's gonna be questions here, so let me, ex let me explain why I did what I did. In, in the program that was presented to you last spring, if you got nothing else from, from Mr. Freeman and, and myself, if you got nothing else out of it, I hope you got out of it that we have ambulances that are way too high mileage, they've gone way too long and not been replaced. In the agreement uh, signed by the commissioners and um, the money appropriated by you, part of that agreement said that 
we will share the cost of the ambulances. Well, I'd have preferred to share the cost, but that's not the way it works. We will alternate buying ambulances. We would be scheduled to buy another ambulance in 2013. My hopes are to move this up uh, right now to 2012, buy an ambulance. That would then make three out of the five uh, under 100,000 miles. We currently have two out of the five under uh, 100,000. One has, one's brand new, one has 65,000. All the rest have over 100,000 miles. And I think for the safety of uh, citizens of the county and for, uh, quite frankly, for the medics that operate them, I think they, they deserve a, a, a safe vehicle. So we are, we are asking, uh, we're, we're putting aside $150,000 now it will take it, it will take a change in the community benefit agreement because we're not scheduled to buy another until 2013, um, and we're asking the hospital to buy theirs in 20, 2013. And that way, by the end of 2013, uh, four out of the five ambulances will be under 100,000 miles. The fifth one is a spare. We have, uh, assuming they don't change the staffing, there's two ambulances in Columbia City, one in Muscle and one in South Whitley. So that's project number five. Project number six is uh, a project to assist Whitley County Council on Aging. That, uh, I think that's a wonderful, uh, uh, this is a wonderful opportunity for us to, um, we, we, we certainly help with the sick and injured in the county. I think that, that we can help with the movement of senior citizens in the county by giving them 25000 in uh, 2012 and 25000 in 2013. Project 7, again, is a continuation. It's something we've done for the last couple of years. That's to provide $8,000 per year towards county website maintenance. Projects eight and nine are a little are are, are a little different, a little new. Uh, project eight, it was brought to our attention uh, a month or so ago that the boilers and chillers in the courthouse are getting bad, and we're going to have to spend some money there in an effort to maybe uh, not cut in the cum cap any more than we have to. We've set aside seventy-five thousand dollars in 2013 for the repair of the boilers and chillers or replacement, whatever it takes. Denny Finker is working on that program now. And then in Project 9 is $75,000 uh, this year only to help with, with roads. So that's, uh, it's, it's, it's set aside for the 2012 road season. On the back page then you'll see that the edit uh, estimate for 2012 is 721 50 for 2013 is 536-113, a total two-year plan of $1,257,622.25. Our 75% our threshold really is 1,000,004, and, and we're going to be a, about 0.2 below that. So uh, we actually may have to increase this because we have to meet 75%. For, for Indiana code, you have to be at 75%. Yeah, yeah, and that's fine, but I thought something might come up and we can always, $191,000, we can always deal with that. And it doesn't so. mean that you have to spend that 75%, it just means that you have to have it in the plan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don, I got issues with eight and nine. Okay. I, think, I think you shortchanged the highway. I think that would be 100,000, that's what it's always been in the past. 100 from that, we also put some from Kadget, and I guess I feel like that uh, Hume Cap should be taking care of the courthouse repairs, that's what that fund's for. Okay, I, 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 I'm going to disagree with you. you, I don't know where you got the 100,000 from, but it was only 40,000 last well, year. Well, we've been putting in, in years past, 100 out of there and 100 out of Kadget. All right, Not, never in my time have we put 100 out of Kadget. In Maybe we put 50 out of there. We put 100, we put 100 okay. out of seated and 50 out of gadget that has been. Okay. 150,000. Okay. I, I can't say. I can only say that I looked at last year's plan, and last year's plan was 40,000. So uh, this year we're putting in, you, you got to remember that, that Project 9 uh, really, you also have to. Um, there's, there, there's two county highway projects, one for the radios, that's 40, and then one for, for highways at, uh, 
seventy-five thousand. That that said, I I we certainly have the ability to increase that, Jim. It's not a problem. Well, I think it would be a hundred thousand in the highway and the road road maintenance. And I'm with Jim. Road repair and maintenance, not any equipment or anything else. It needs to be a hundred for on the uh, road. That's what we that's what we had. Road repairs and maintenance. Uh huh. We're so restricted when it comes to funding our roads. There are so many limitations, and this is one area where it's clearly economic development, which is what this seated plan is designed for. Uh, so I think that if you are having a hard time meeting your 75%, that that's the area I'd like to see it go into as far as Project 9 is concerned. You know, maybe add something for 2013. You know you're going to need something there from 2013. Just a suggestion. Sure. I think on the, on this radio thing, that's a one-shot deal that, that the federal government mandated. Yeah. Uh, maybe we ought to look at some other fund like QCAP or something, if it can stand it, rather than taking it out of the seat. Because that's... Or rainy day. Yeah. Uh, I, that's my right. feeling. Okay. Because okay. that, that's, that's not I know. thoughts ongoing. You know, all, all these thoughts you're giving me are same thoughts that went through my mind, <laughs> but I had to put the plan together. So, But well, I had the same thoughts. We're all but, in the same wavelength. But, way, but like. you had to write something down to get discussion. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Don, I have a problem with five and six. Okay. Five, if you go with five the way you want to go with it, that voids a warranty or voids a contract between the county and the commissioners. Are you willing to go back and get a new contract with Parkview? It does not avoid the the contract. The, the contract consisted of three parts, okay? Uh, and, and I've already started this process, to be honest with you. I've asked for a meeting for the Oversight Committee, so I've not heard back. Um, the, the, the agreement really consisted of three areas. One real easy was by signing the other two, we're doing away with the old one. Then there was the agreement that the county provides what we provide, uh, um, we get, that we give them $300,000 a year this year, 310, 320, 340. Then there's a third agreement called the Community Benefits Agreement. I got a copy out here in my briefcase. That's the one where we say, uh, who's going to buy an annual twin. So, so the actual $300,000 a year agreement is not breached. The only thing that have, would have to be changed is the community benefit agreement. Now Parkview wants the community benefit agreement because since they're not-for-profit corporation, they have to prove that they put money in the county or in their, in their area. And that's why we have this community benefit. So it is a different agreement. Well, I, I just think that, you know, it was already set. We went through everything. We had it set up to where, you know, every other year, you know, the county mm -hmm. would buy one, Parkview would buy one, and go back and forth. It just looks to me like you're opening up, you know, again, another major issue here with, uh, with that particular agreement or contract. Well, I, I, thought, I thought it stated in the contract what what they were doing with the EMSs. They're buying one this year in 12, right? Parkview buys, yeah. Park buy, who's buying 12? Well, you know, that gets a little, that gets a little we money. We, I, I guess we were to buy one, but we got it in 11. Right. It actually yeah. came in 11, but it's the 12. It was the 12 agreement. Now that's from funds from the Community Foundation. So then, then you want the county to buy another one in 13, two years in a row? Nope, I want the county to buy one right now in 12. So I'd rather take that 150000 put it in the highway department, and leave the contract as it reads. I guess I'd agree with Kim. We okay. just bought one. I mean, I can't see us buying a second one this quick. Well, you could if you were in my position, Jim, because of the high mileage ambulances. You're sit, you just sit here and bought police cars. High mileage. I didn't vote for it. Police cars. I understand mm -hmm. that. But all I'm trying to do is if you got nothing else out of that report from Freeman, it was there's a huge need to get rid of these high mileage ambulances. All I'm trying to do is speed the process up, not add more, just I, speed I just the think like Tim, I think it muddies the waters on your contracts. It was so difficult to get, get uh, and, signed anyway. And we said here, Don, I've said here and listened to you say that it's in the contract and that we have a five-year contract and that's what we're going to go with. And now all of a sudden you want to start changing. I want to change the community benefit agreement, not the contract. 
the contract says that this county gives Parkview $300,000 this year, 310, 320, 330, 340. That's what the contract says. Does not, the contract does not say, the contract does not say we buy one every other year. That's the community benefit agreement. <clears throat> so, for clarification, we bought one last year. Would this not be part of this year to buy one? We just bought it yeah. like December 22nd or something. It was for this year. Yeah, it was technically the, the 20th. Starts in a, started at 12. Right. Really I don't 12, think we got 12. it maybe until January 2nd, but it was yeah. purchased. In Don, if you start December. amending the community agreement, will they have other amendments they'll want in there? They haven't responded to this one yet. So. so basically, Don, what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to do for Whitley County two in a row. It is. That is right. Okay. And then, and then there probably is no need for, really, for us to buy another one in the five-year contract, right? I mean, if we get the, if we get four out of the five, by the end of thirteen, if we can get four out of the five under hundred thousand miles, we probably don't need to worry too much about the. How'd you get four? We was only supposed to buy three. Well, I, I'm just telling you there's a fleet of five. Okay? I know. We were supposed to buy three, and they were supposed to buy two in a five-year period. We purchased one already. We bought one, and I'm asking for the second one. So your goal is just to update the fleet earlier yep. than it was exactly. originally. That's, that's all I'm trying to do is just get it up, upgraded quicker. That's all. <laughs> I'm only trying to think of the citizens and the people who have to run out of these, out of these animals. You, you have to know what the mileage is. Personally. Sir, I, I absolutely do. I don't have the paper with me. Dwayne, Dwayne sent me uh, the complete list, and I can tell you one had 3,000 on it. One had 65,000 and all the rest are over 100,000. Like how high over 100? Yeah, much. that's what I was curious about. Yeah, I mean, <coughs> are we talking 180 or? Yeah, exactly. I mean, still 100, over 100,000 for an ambulance. I'm not sure how they're built to, to run, but it does seem high. That information is, is available. I mean, I, I have it. I'm sorry, I just don't have it here with me. I'm not, probably in my briefcase. Can you talk about Project 6? Yeah, Project 6. I uh, I think by opening that back up to 50,000, it took us two years to get get some of the some of the people were coming in asking for money. It took us a couple of years to get them down to where the county could actually fund them to be able you know, we took it away from the Humane Society. We ended up cutting several different services out here, and now all of a sudden we want to start giving it back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I think, think it's, I think it's, it's I think a good message to the seniors. I think aware of what's going to happen <clears throat> when that gets out. What, that the, that the county wants to help the senior citizens? No, I'm just saying that, you know, if we start there, and then it go belong to we'll have them back in here again, whether it be the Humane Society or anybody with, that we've cut. I met with Humane Society yesterday. I mean, I'm just bringing it to the consuls, mm -hmm. you know, yep. to let them know what yep. could happen. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do sit on the board at Whitley Council for the Council on Aging. And, uh, all the end dot money hundreds of thousands of dollars that they do get, 80% of their funding is from this, basically from the state. And, and and if we don't support them, then they, they get nothing. So that's, <coughs> that's just very bad. And I think you can say, if you're on the board, I think you could say we have absolutely supported them at the minimum level. Pretty much. Minimum yeah, level. We, we, I think when I first got on, we supported them at like a 30,000. That is correct. And then the last time it was 10. And I'm, I'm just simply going to 25 with it. Yeah. How, by setting this precedent, how, how are you prepared as the commissioner to address passages and the humane shelter 
you know, how do we decide which agencies, these nonprofits, 